Hi, my name is Mackenzie and today I'll be taking you through a quick high impact cardio workout. So for today, the only equipment is optional. It's going to be a mat for some of our core moves because we will be on the ground just to kind of make you feel a little bit more comfortable during those movements. But other than that, we won't need any equipment. So let's go ahead. Let's get into the warm up. So for our warm up, we're doing Tabata style. That means 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest for eight rounds. And because we have two movements, we will be doing each movement four times. So our two movements, the first one is going to be jumping jacks. So jump the feet out, hands up and back down. Option, you can also clap the hands behind the back just to get a little bit more shoulder mobility in there. Another option would just be stepping the feet out one at a time rather than adding that hop. Our next movement is going to be air squats. So we want our feet about shoulder distance apart. So they're going to be about under our shoulders, toes pointed slightly out. We're going to send the hips back, knees out, trying to keep our chest nice and tall. We don't want to be falling over. We want to keep it tall and then squeezing the glutes to stand up. So ideally we're trying to get down to parallel and then back up. But if that's not in the cards today, no worries. We're just going to do a little quarter squat instead. So instead of going all the way down, we're just going to come down about halfway, but still all the same mechanics apply. We want to be sending the knees out, the hips back, keeping the core engaged so we can have a nice flat back. And we're going to think about using the thighs to lower down, then squeezing the glutes to come up. But those are our two movements for the warm up. Again, we're going to be doing each more movement four times. So 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. And let's go ahead. Let's get started with those jumping jacks in three, two, one. So here we're just trying to get the heart rate up a little bit, get the blood flowing. So don't feel like you have to go as fast as you possibly can for this warm up. We're just trying to let the body know that we're about to get some work done. And three, two, one, rest. So 10 second rest and we're going into those air squats. And it's okay. Let's go in three, two, one. It's okay if maybe these first couple rounds you're not getting that full depth on the squat. Sometimes it just takes us a little bit to warm up and get there. And even to get to the quarter squat, sometimes it might take us a few tries, a few minutes of work, of warming up to get there. And rest. Okay, that was the first round down. We have three more to go. Maybe try with these next few rounds. Pick up the intensity just slightly to prepare ourselves for our workout. And jumping jacks. Again, you always have the option just to step one foot up and the other, or you can add the hop in. And rest. Okay, 10 seconds. Back to those air squats. And three, two, one. Okay. And during this warm up, and even during our workout today, Feel free to go at your own pace, whether that's faster than me, slower than me, go at whatever pace is going to give you the best workout for you today. And rest 10 seconds and we'll be starting our third round. So we're halfway done with our warm up here. We should be picking up intensity a little bit now and go. So maybe we're moving a little bit faster in those jumping jacks. And three, two, one, rest. Okay, five more seconds, then getting back to those air squats. And three, two, one. See if maybe we can get a little bit lower, go a little bit faster this time around. Nice work, we're almost done with this warm up. And five seconds left, three, two, one. Okay, 
one more round and then we'll get into our workout today. So, three, two, one, jumping jacks. Again, see if we can go a little bit faster for our last round. Really get that heart rate up. Three, two, one. Nice work. One more round of air squats, and then I'll go through our workout for today. In three, two, one. Please remember, try to stand all the way up at the top. Really comes with squeezing those glutes. We don't want to just come up halfway and then go down. We want to come all the way up, full extension here and down and rest okay nice work for the warm-up stretch anything you need to grab some water if you feel like you're ready to go before i'm done explaining our movements for the next block feel free go ahead start on some jumping jacks keep that heart rate up you can also hold a plank if you want so keys for that we want to keep the shoulders away from the ears body in a nice straight line option is to go down to the knees but still trying to keep a nice straight line with the body. So feel free, if you feel like you're ready, you can do either of those movements while I go through our next exercises. So for this first block, it is going to be three rounds of 30 seconds of each movement. And we have four movements. So our first movement is going to be burpees. So like I always say, I don't care how pretty these look, you are falling on the ground and getting back up whichever way you know how. So whether you want to step down, step up, I just actually add a hop at the top so we make sure we're getting that full extension. Or if you wanna hop down, hop up, or a combination of the two, you do not have to do a push up at the bottom, but your chest does have to touch the bottom. So my favorite is just slowly lower yourself down. Like fall down, but don't hit yourself, don't hit your face on the ground, just get down on the ground as fast as you can. Um, modification, if you don't feel like you can get your chest all the way to the ground, you can step back, hold a two second plank, step up, and instead of the jump at the top, you can always do a calf raise instead. Next movement is going to be squat pulses. So, I was saying earlier with our air squats that we wanna to come to full extension. Here, we do not, so we wanna get down towards the bottom, and we're just gonna go up slightly and hold here for 30 seconds. Really focusing on getting that burn in the thighs and in the glutes. Modification, instead of holding down here, we just hold up a little bit further. But we'll just be bobbing up and down for 30 seconds. Our next movement is going to be up and down planks. So in that plank position, we're gonna go down to the elbows and then back up to the hands, alternating the arm that we use to go down and up with. The key with this movement is that we want to try to stay in that straight line. We don't want our hips coming up or dropping down. We want to try to stay in that nice straight line and not let our body come too far to the side when we are going down. So that's not what we want. We want to stay in the nice line and try to have minimal side to side movement. And for our last movement, we have a rest. So this is your only rest time. There will not be rest in between the previous movements. It'll only be at the very end. So make sure that we're trying to push ourselves, trying to have quick transitions so we can work for the maximum amount of time. So again, we're gonna start with burpees, go to squat pulses, and then up, down planks, and then rest. So we're doing three rounds of that. 30 seconds of each movement. And let's start with those burpees in three, two, one. Use this first round as kind of a test round. Push yourself, see if you can go faster. But we wanna to try to just keep moving for the entire 30 seconds. So we don't wanna do two burpees and then stand and then do two more. We want to keep 
moving. We have five seconds left. And right into those squat pulses. It's really important that we're keeping the chest high in these squat pulses here. After this, we're going to those up-down planks in 10 seconds. And three, two, one. Switching it over to those up-down planks. Again, the goal here is quantity, or sorry, quality, not quantity. Trying to get nice, slow, and controlled movements. We are halfway. And three, two, one, rest. Okay, so during this 30 seconds rest, try to think about that first round, say, where can I go faster? Where do I need to slow down a little bit so that I can keep moving for the entire 30 seconds? We want to find a pace that is challenging but doable. It's one that says, I don't want to go this fast, but I can go this fast. So three seconds left and we're starting at the top with those burpees and go. Again, work a little bit harder than you want to here. Three, two, one. Right into those squat pulses. Fifteen seconds left. If you need a break, come up. But try to get down as fast as you can. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Plank up downs. Try to keep the shoulders away from the ears here. Keep pushing, less than 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Okay, rest. One round left. Then we're gonna start, we have one more block after this and then a little core finisher. So make sure, grab some water. Catch your breath, you're ready for our last round. Starting in 10 seconds. And three, two, one, burpees. And squat pulses. Halfway. See if you can go a little bit lower. And five, four, three, two, one. Up, down, planks. This is our last movement for this block. Halfway. Again, you can always drop to your knees for this plank. Take a little bit of pressure off the shoulders. 
and rest. Nice work, you guys did amazing with that first block. So, just like the rest between our warm up and that first block, if you would like to do some jumping jacks, hold the plank, do it. It's only gonna make you better. And so now I'll get into our second block. Just like the first one, it is going to be three rounds of 30 seconds for each movement. Again, four movements here. First movement is going to be jumping lunges. So for the lunge, we're gonna start with the first, start with the first option, which is just gonna be walking lunges. So just lunging, not including the jump. So you're gonna step out. You want this knee to be over this toe. We don't want it, to, or knee to be over the ankle. We don't want the knee coming forward or being very far back. We wanna to try to keep the knee over the ankle, chest nice and tall, and just tap the back leg. And you can either step backwards or step forwards to do the lunge. But that's gonna be our first option, is just doing a walking lunge pace. Our second option would be adding in the hop. So coming down, using this, really using this front leg to power yourself up and switch legs in midair. So again, you can either take out the hop or if you wanna ramp it up a little bit, get a little bit more cardio, add that hop in. Next movement is going to be T push-ups. So we're gonna start with our hands out wide for this push-up. Elbows wide, come down to 90 degrees, and when you come up, you're gonna rotate into a side plank. Hold for two seconds, come down, do another push up, and then rotate to the other side. Modification would be doing the push ups from the knees and then trying to get up. You can always drop this bottom knee for that side plank. Again, we're not holding it very long. Um, you can also, if you want, to just do push-ups and get rid of the side plank, that is okay. But the goal here is to try to get some kind of opening, some kind of rotation. Next movement, we're gonna get a little bit of core. So, we're gonna have the legs straight in the air, toes pointed. We wanna try to lift the shoulder blades off the ground, engage that core arms straight in the air. Then we're gonna lower the opposite arm and the opposite leg at the same time. So right arm, left leg go down, then left arm, right leg go down, keeping the other leg still straight in the air. But here, the goal is quantity, not, or sorry, again, quality, not quantity. We want nice, slow, controlled movements really making sure that we're moving through our core. And then our last movement is going to be an active recovery. So we're just gonna hold a downward dog. So I like to start in the plank position, hands under the shoulders, and then send the hips to the sky, trying to create a nice straight line with the back. But we're gonna hold this position for our rest, having a little active recovery through the shoulders and really focusing on our breath. So again, we have those four movements, jumping lunges, T push-ups, dead bugs, and then a downward dog hold. So it's gonna be three rounds, 30 seconds each movement. And let's go ahead and get started with the jumping lunges. One thing I wanna say really quick, if you feel like you can't maintain the jumping lunges for the whole time, maybe do a jumping lunge every third lunge. So do a few walking and then add that jump to try to, try to get an in-between of the walking versus the jumping. So grab some water and let's get started in three, two, one. Jumping lunges. Get nice, slow and controlled. So if you are not going super fast, that is okay. We really just wanna focus on driving through that front leg to get us up. 
five seconds, three, two, one, two push-ups, and again, 30 seconds is a long time to do push-ups, so feel free, take this one a little bit slower, and like I said at the beginning, you can go at my pace, you can go faster, you can go slower, whatever is going to be best for you. And dead bugs. So flipping it over, legs in the air, and controlling the descent. You want your legs and arms to be at a 90 degree angle from the ground. 10 seconds left. And downward dog for our active recovery. Again, trying to put the chest towards the thighs. Feel free to pedal out the feet a little bit. Get into those calves. We have about 10 seconds left. So two more rounds left. Starting with those jumping lunges. Think three, two, one. Another important thing with those jumping lunges, we want to make sure that when we're landing, the knee is going out and it is not falling in. 10 seconds left. Two push-ups. Again, with these push-ups, we're trying to get to 90 degrees, but keeping a nice straight body, just like with our planks. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Dead legs. Yeah, we're trying to make these transitions as fast as we can. Over halfway. And five, three, two, one. Downward dog for our active recovery. Okay, feel free, pedal out the feet. Just getting that active recovery while still kind of putting some pressure on those shoulders. Less than 10 seconds. And we're starting our last round. See if we can go a little bit faster for our last round. And go. A little bit faster, but again, still keeping proper mechanics. And if you need to, it is perfectly okay if you have to walk some lunges and then try to get back to jumping. Five seconds. And two push-ups. And three, two, one, dead bugs. Really focus on pushing that lower back into the ground the entire movement. If you feel like your lower back is coming off the ground, 
maybe bend the knees and just do heel touches and downward dog nice work we are almost done with our second block and then we have a quick two minute ab finisher to send us home today And like I said earlier, feel free while I'm explaining, rest. Feel free while I'm explaining, hold the plank, do some jumping jacks. It's only gonna make you better. So for our finisher, it's only gonna be one round. So we, each, we only do each movement one time, but we'll be doing each movement for 30 seconds. Our first movement is just a plank hold. So go over this very quickly. Shoulders or hands underneath the shoulders, trying to keep a nice straight line with the body. Just holding here, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. If you want to, you can also drop down to the knees. Um, and that will be our first movement. The next movement is going to be toe touches. So, laying on the back, feet straight in the air, just like those dead bugs. And we are trying to either tap the toes or tap the shins, just trying to lift those shoulder blades off the ground. So the goal is the toes. Modification would be the shins. Just trying to activate that core. Pull those shoulder blades off the ground and up. Um, and then our next two movements are just going to be side planks. So side plank for 30 seconds on one side. Imagining like you're in between two panes of glass. We don't want our hips back behind us or too far in front of us. We want to stay in a nice straight line from head to toe and from front to back. And then second movement is just a plank on the opposite side. So for modification for the plank, you can always drop the bottom knee or you can stack one foot in front of the other or be on top of each other. But for this, I'm going to pull out our mat. Feel free to do so as well. But we just have a quick ab finisher and then we're done for today. So because we are doing each movement for such short of time and only one time through, really try to hold that movement and continue that movement for the entire 30 seconds. So let's get started with those planks in three, two, one. Okay. Just trying to hold a plank. You can always go down to the elbows. Um, the elbows will just be under the shoulders, just like the hands. But we're just holding here for 30 seconds, trying to tuck the tailbone under. We don't want our hips coming up or dropping down, just staying in a nice line and breathing through the movement. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Flip it over for toe touches. So toes in the air. And just trying to keep a nice steady movement, lifting the chest up rather than out. Halfway. In three, two, one, side plank. Elbow is going to be underneath the shoulder, body between two panes of glass. Trying to get this hip as high up as we can. Halfway. Almost done here. And we're going to be switching in five seconds. Three, two, one. Last 30 seconds of the day. And then you're done. Body between two panes of glass, getting those hips up high, over halfway here. Nice work, everyone. Really try to hold it for these last eight seconds. And three, two, one. Nice work today, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you get a good stretch in. Really focus on the core.
our leg and the legs. We did a lot of work with those today. My name is Mackenzie, and I hope to see you again next week.